how do you envision it shaping the lives of those that you serve? I think it mirrors so much of the experience that I have had personally of being able to bring to fruition the person that I always knew that I was. It feels like so many things just click into place as you go through this journey of making sense of memories or having passions that you had as a child come back to you rather spontaneously. These gifts that we have of what it is that we're meant to bring into the world fall into alignment when we can work through the blocks that may have created some space from us with them. It's like things are falling back into alignment. Things are coming back into congruence where things can move more seamlessly. And that's something that I've seen with a lot of the people that I work with is that they feel like their lives fall into order more than they had before of, of recognizing purpose. I think it's a huge one. So many people come to me wanting to find their purpose. I feel like I have so much passion, but I don't know where to put it. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. And I think that's such a beautiful question to bring to the table of what am I meant to do? And somatic work is everything, at least in my opinion, and helping people figure that out. Because even in, in the structure of that sentence, what am I meant to do? The I comes first. And if you don't have clarity on who the I is, how can we know what the I is meant to do, which is the, the focus on purpose? So bringing clarity and fruition, that person who you know that you're meant to be and watching yourself embody that person and truly step into that power, the do falls into place easily after that because the things are coming online the signs are coming you're getting pointed in the show, the direction of alignment where you notice life is showing you exactly where it is that you're meant to be right now but when you're fighting all of this inner constriction and, and conflict and old outdated patterns like you mentioned earlier there's so much murkiness in trying to move through that that it can be so hard to find that purpose more like finding a needle in a haystack rather than come into fruition of the person that you're meant to be, the needle comes to you and you don't have to work so hard or strive so hard to figure it out. It really is the process of you magnetizing what is meant to you. That is an incredible gift for people to be able to experience for themselves is to feel really deeply settled into the congruence of their lives of knowing that this is where I am meant to be and feeling so empowered to be in that space. It's something that I've been able to witness a lot of people move through. Also, side tangents to this, watching people strengthen family relationships is one that means a lot to me as well. Through this work, being able to bring compassion to the people who really know how to push our buttons the most and forgive them. Like I mentioned earlier, perhaps not having the skill set that they needed to work through their own self. And am I going to hold that against them that they didn't have those opportunities and being able to separate those things and look at the people in the pain that they're sitting in the space of what it is that is their work to work through and not holding that against them. And it changes the nature of the dynamics of those relationships in a much more healthier and objective way to approach those types of things. And I feel like our society is drifting to be a little bit more like individualistic and, and isolated, finding these strategies to bring deeper sense of connection I think is needed right now. And being able to do that and provide the framework for people to better relate to those that they love and care about is such a beautiful gift as well that just gets to come from this is almost like a side tangent. That's not maybe something you're consciously working on, but can just notice a lot is changing around me. It's, it seems like a lot of avenues of my life are just getting better because I have focused on clearing my channel or tuning into that higher radio frequency and learning how to work with the curriculum that I'm given, the intuition that I'm receiving to change my life and give me direction.